Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holt and today we're fishing on the Wisconsin River. Uh, we broke the jet boat out of storage because we're gonna be fishing a pretty shallow stretch of river here today. And I've got good friend PJ Vick at the back of the boat. The plan today is uh, we're gonna push way up river, get below the dams, and uh, see if we can find some walleyes in slack current. It's gonna be really shallow, so our presentation of choice today will very likely be small husky jerks. I'll work real slow. We're gonna allow those pre-spawn fish to get in behind these baits and really T-bone them if we put the presentation together. So stick around. If you love spring walleyes, and I'm sure most of you do, you're gonna love today's show. So we got the jet boat out. One of the advantages, of course, is- Ooh, there we go, baby. We can get to places where a lot of guys can't. Uh, the stretch we ran through to get up this close to the dam, pretty sketchy. How's that one feel? Not a bad fish, I don't think. Oh, that hit felt awesome. <laughs> when you're fishing it, these baits that slow, it is so cool the way they stroke those baits. Oh, it was the classic twitch, twitch, as soon as I pause, boom. I think this one will need the net. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Boy, that one's going nowhere, bud. Oh, oh. nice female there, boy. Oh, that yes, is a sir. That's what I'm talking about. No harm, no foul there. No. Oh, oh, man, that fell right out pretty much. Oh, what a gorgeous walleye. <laughs> Those are the ones that you and I were hoping to target today. We're not keeping fish. We're not no. looking for eaters. Uh, this slot limit on the Wisconsin River is so cool. It's really allowed these fish to grow up and a great opportunity to come out and catch some large fish, you know. Um, that one's probably, what, 22-ish, I would say. And yeah, and very fast. Super great. <laughs> yeah. But th this is just such an awesome presentation. I, I look forward to this type of stuff every, every year. You know, this is a presentation that I've done quite a bit. Yeah. Mostly on trout streams. And it's not one that I did, you know, back in my days of guiding on pool four. Yeah. Or very rarely, I should say. Yeah. But it is so common on the Wisconsin River. Yeah, it is. Well, the Wisconsin River and, you know, a lot of the Green Bay tributaries and a bunch of the smaller rivers I've fished growing up. I mean, this is a classic presentation. Get on the current seam in an eddy, you know, when the water's warming up, getting closer to the spawn. And, there's just all kinds of fish sitting waiting. You know, and you think crankbait, right? You think aggressive. Yeah. But you're fishing it so slow and you're allowing that neutral buoyancy. When you stop pulling it forward, yeah. it just starts to drift back naturally with the current. It's a presentation you just really can't do with a jig and a piece of plastic. No, especially in this shallow water. This is hands down the most effective way to fish, you know, in that five foot to three foot range. Fish. Really? Yeah. All right. I got one, Peach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oop, I'm just. Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop, oh, oh. oop. <laughs> I'm plucking the males Holy here. Holy cow, right behind that boat. All right. Yeah, mine, this is mine a nicer does one. not deserve a net. Yours does. Yep. Got it? Oh, oh yeah, baby. Yours <laughs> just inhaled it. You, you got this? <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Chaos. Oh. I got, you got the girlfriend, I got the boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That is a beautiful Wisconsin River walleye oh, right there. Holy choke job. Yeah, that thing came up right behind it. it this is such an exciting bite in this shallow water with that twitch, that, one back. that twitch, twitch pause on that lap back. I mean, it's the bite 
that walleye fishermen wait for, just a hard tick. And you don't have you know? to tell me that it was on the drop back no. because I can tell by the way she ate it. <laughs> right. yeah, that's You're a gorgeous want that fish. For sure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Right in the roof of the mouth. Oop, there we go. All yeah, right. gorgeous fish, bud. Yeah, that's a nice female. That would be what would be considered a slot out here. Um, these fish are protected from 20 to 28 inches. There's a limit of five and 15 to 20 you can keep and one over 28 for a trophy. And she bit you. And she bit me a little bit, but we're getting used to that by now. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let this fatty go. Oh, come on, girl. <sighs> Off you go. All right. Nice. That's not a bad start right there. Rain, boat spray, wind, and if you're unlucky enough, even snow. When your drive to work is a highway of water, you need outerwear that you can count on day after day, week after week, year after year. The Rapala Rain Pro and the Rapala Rain Jacket and bibs are exceptionally crafted using premium materials and fitted for comfort. With the right gear, you can weather the storm. Backed by a legendary name you can trust. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's going to tell you their secrets. But they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Mice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LifeScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Fish. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Again, it's not a big fish, <laughs> but he's, I mean, when, before we leave, I want to go over there and check to see how shallow that is. Yeah. It cannot be a foot deep. Yeah, I, I bet you're right, because you, you take a couple reels down and you're ticking. Oh, man, if you've never tried this before, this is one of the coolest ways to fish possible. Yeah, it really is. And it, it's so efficient, you know, you're, you're keeping these baits up off the bottom, mm -hmm. right in the fish's mouth with this cold water. Well, that's not a bad one. I there like everything about him. I don't see this one getting away. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a couple hooks in it. Yep. Come here, you. That would be a, a nice eater here. Yes, it would. Five between, you know, has to be at least 15, can't be can't oh, be 20. Can't be 20, yep. And one over 28. All right. So, nice fish, catching them in like zero feet of water. Just crazy. See you, bye. And so one of the things to keep in mind when you're fishing these little jerk baits is even when you're not moving it, it's still back there working for you. As long as you're in the current, kind of watch them alongside the boat, even just with this slight current, that husky jerk's back there just doing this light little wiggle. And as PJ pointed out earlier, a couple twitches forward and then it's the drop back. That's the, that's the deal maker right there. Get that bait back to them. They think it's vulnerable. They think it's just kind of floating back with the current. They come up underneath it and just crack it. Yeah, when you look around the boat right now, you can see that there's a lot of water here. There's not very much of it a walleye is going to want to be in right now. I mean, it is just ripping. Shallow, it's rocky, great spawning habitat. You get that water temperature up another seven, eight degrees, they'll be up here just filthy and in the faster current. But right now at 37 degrees, they're not going to be want, you know, want to be out there in that fast current burning energy. So this is really 
kind of their universe up here if they're going to come in here and try to find a nice place to wait it out while they wait for the water to warm. Ooh. Boom. Boom. I'm going to have to go back to the flat take a good one. Well, it's in some pretty crazy currents, so it's hard to tell. You, but you got that going for you. Yeah. I just kind of held it in that current and a couple twitches and a letback, and that was the clobber job there. <laughs> I have uh, done a little bit of experimenting and yeah. determined that I need to go back to the fire tiger. <laughs> <laughs> There's some decent head shake there, and it's staying down, so it may be a decent fish. That was PJ's polite way of saying don't just stand here looking dumb. Get the net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a decent fish. Staying way down. Oh, yeah. Hello, oh, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mama. Just keep moving down the shoreline. Yeah. We've yep. got all afternoon. Oh, yeah. That one that is going that absolutely just nowhere. <laughs> uh, you know they're convinced when hardly any of that bait is sticking out of the mouth. I'm going to give you a hand here. Okay. Beautiful. Go. Saved your life, fish. Another awesome slot fish there. That's beautiful. But yeah, I mean, that's such a great method when you're fishing, you know, on the edge of this really fast current. It's just actually leaving your bait hang out in that current. You give it a couple twitches, let it drop back. And those fish, even though the current's fast, there's a lot of boulders and everything in here, and they will nose up right behind those rocks. And, you know, visually it looks like, man, there's no way there could be a walleye in that, but they sit behind that rock, let the current flow over the top of them. Awesome fish. Oh, yeah. Off you go, girly. Boom. Man, that hit is so exciting. <laughs> Fish. Oh, there you go. This is our little guy. Little dead. Hey, the males are there for a reason. Yeah. There's there's females up in here. We just got to sort through them. And if I had to guess, these fish, it might not look like it because we're catching quite a few fish right now. But last night we had just a cold, hard rain roll through. And we got wind out of the east, northeast today. Not exactly the best fishing conditions. But we're still putting fish in the yeah, boat. That's right. <laughs> A good eater type. <laughs> yeah. Well, he gets an A for effort. Yep. I think it's cool he was up there in like eight inches of water. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those where I was just dredging it across the bottom to coax it out in the current. Yep. Got it off the shallows and dunk, bunk. That's cool. Later, dude. Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Live Imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door. 
making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. So even though we're fishing a river here today, we are fishing a braid, but uh, you know, typically in a river, you don't need to tie in a floral leader, but here, it's not actually very turbid. There's not a lot no. of dirt in the water, no. right? But there's color to it. It's like a tea stain with a little bit of spring runoff. So uh, we are fishing a floral leader today. Uh, probably is gonna make a difference versus having that, that high vis yeah. braided line tied right to the, the nose of that crankbait. And that's 14 pound suffix. But other than that, it's just your standard walleye gear, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm really easy. Fishing a medium light. Um, the reason I'm doing that, I think you're doing the same, is yeah. you're fishing on such a tight line, right? You're not, you don't have a lot of line up between you and the crankbait. And when that fish comes up behind, uh, behind that bait to inhale it, it's kind of nice to have a little bit softer rod tip to allow that bait to go back so that fish can get that bait. You know, a medium heavy or, you know, a really fast action rod, you're gonna have some of those fish come up behind you try to inhale it and just not get enough of the bait to get hooked up. So Yeah, and not only that, bringing these fish up in the current. You definitely want to have some play because these girls, they get violent once they get in the current. <laughs> We've had a couple nice fish so far, a muskie. If we hook up an eight or 10 pound walleye in this, it'll be, yeah, it's gonna be all a, a guy can do to get that fish in the boat. Right. Oh, that one really creamed it. Well, that looks like a decent one. About 20 feet behind the boat. Probably gonna need a net on this okay, one. Okay, I got you. Pretty much right at the back of the bus. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's staying down and acting proper. Beautiful. Oh, gotcha. Got all the hooks and was coming in sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were gonna keep some fish, that's the one, right? Yep. Boy, that one just clubbed it. But still, not hooked super good. Had all the hooks across its face, but wasn't it taking much to get rid of that one. 17, maybe 18. That would be uh, one of those fish that guys are gonna wanna take home, but not today. This is a lucky guy. Whoop. All right. Nice work, Mr. Holst. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Hammered, not a small fish. Doesn't look like it. It's out of it. Oh, nice walleye, nice walleye. Not a muscalunge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, that's probably one, of the, that's better, a big one, one of the better ones today for sure. Yeah. That one's not going anywhere. Oh man. yeah. Oh man. Oh. Oof. That's a pudgy mama. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling about that cast. <laughs> you like the way it was working? <laughs> yep. Coming right down that seam, I could feel I was just tickling bottom a little bit down in those rocks. We know those bigger ones got to be in here, but that's a heck of a nice average size. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice, girthy, healthy fish. <sighs> These bites just don't get old in that and that current, just a hard snap pop. Love it, gorgeous. Off you go, girl. Back oh, yeah. They're so happy in this cold water. <laughs> it's just full of energy still. Hey, one feed. Oh. I'll get you. Not a giant. Gonna... Gotta dig him out of the wood pile. <laughs> I'll bring him over here. We'll pop him oh, yeah. through the wood. Nice. Boop. There you go, bud. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The uh, the boat has created a bit of an eddy, <laughs> <laughs> and all the debris is coming in right off the corner of the boat here. Boy, if we'd have been keeping fish, we would have been uh, anyway, pretty good mess of them. Yeah, we would. I mean, that's a good eater there. Plenty of bigs. Plenty of eats and a few muskies. <laughs> Back to the wood pile. <laughs> Back to the wood pile. <laughs> He's just living in the shade. Yeah. Very cool. So as you can see, we've, we've relocated here a little bit. Uh, we were on the other side. We kind of exhausted that little shoreline current break we were working. And we noticed that, hey, you get up here close to the dam, 
on this side of it, there's a pretty good eddy up here. Of course, one of the challenges is there's a lot of debris in it. So you make 10 casts, you probably only get to fish about six of them because you're running into a lot of stuff in the water, but not a big deal. There's good fish in here. So we're going to work this for a while. Not sure if we're going to bounce back to that original spot later in the day. Uh, that was really good this morning, but we might see uh, what we can uh, figure out up here. This is a, a much bigger area. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems, featuring two patent pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at norsklithium.com. I'm not like you and my friend. You're not very much like With me. You. Don't miss Reed's Gun Fair, the last weekend of April. The largest try-before-you-buy gun sale in the USA. Shoot factory demo guns for free and compare with over 30 factory reps on site with free gifts and factory cash savings. See shooting shows, games, and fun for the whole family. Long-range rifle, pistol, and shotgun demo shooting is all free. Save on optics, clothing, outdoor gear, and even a truckload ammo sale. Reed's Gun Fair is in conjunction with Morrison County Ducks Unlimited. So don't miss raffles, special guns, and more. It's all at reedsgunfair.com. Better one, PJ. That looks good. I'm coming. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it's, it's a yep. nice, nice, nice female. Nice fish. Come here, you. Come on, girly. Oh boy, did she hit that. Oh, yes, <laughs> got all of that. <laughs> Let me grab that. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that is uh, the old Winston Churchill there. <laughs> got the old stogie sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> All righty. Dandy fish. There we go. Low 20s. You know, we've had a bunch of these today. You can sure tell the difference. When these bring the noise, it's a lot louder. <laughs> oh, see you, bye. This is so cool. You ever find yourself on a river like this? Uh, where you've got shallow sand flats, shallow rock flats, where it's just really difficult to jig, you know, jigging plastic, jigging minnow. Make sure you give this a try. It's the perfect solution to kind of a, a, a tough scenario where it can be a little, you know, a little tricky throwing a, a jig up into two to four feet of rocky, you know, covered bottom. And uh, what ends up happening with these husky jerks, we adjust the size of the husky jerk to the depth of water that's being fished. Right now I'm casting up into three, three and a half foot, foot of water, so I'm using the number 10. Uh, when we get out on the edge of the current, uh, we've also done really well with the number 12, dive just a little bit deeper. So uh, there's always a way to keep that bait out there and up above the rocks when you're fishing these jerk baits. So uh, uh, throw a couple in your box. You don't need a lot of different sizes or a bunch of colors. If you're on walleye water in the spring, pick up a bunch of bright patterns and you're good to go. There's fish. Not a teeny tiny. I am digging on the pink. Yeah. I'm here, you. Oh. That's a beautiful fish, James. Yes, sir. Hey, look at that. I'm going to get a hold of you. There we go. Super nice fish. We've had a bunch of these low 20s today great females fat full of eggs coming up here getting ready to spawn obviously the thing is this area is just filthy with the males so we'll fire that one back all right see you bye oh 
There you go. I got one close to the boat here, bud. <laughs> Need a net? It's hooked up pretty good, but it's, okay. a, it's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, yeah. I'll grab it. I got okay. it. Come on. Gorgeous. Oh, cranks out. Fish is loose. That's a, that's probably a 19 inch female. Super chunky fish, looking good. Send her back. Oh. And there is nothing that I, that you could do to get me to change this little crankbait right now. Earlier it was number 10 fire tiger. Now for me, well, DJ's caught a bunch on 12s today, but this, uh, pink number 10 second half of the day has been awesome for me greeny good in head not a bad fish way the heck out there <laughs> there's the uh, krylon green yep <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it is too is that what it is <laughs> the hive is green oh you bucket mouthed him Ugh. good not eater a bad one yeah, it T-boned them on the slime. Slime color's got about a nine, 10 pounder in it yet tonight. We've caught a few <laughs> fish on that color. Yeah, a bad walleye. Fish. On? This had to go to a little bit darker color. Yeah. Something to contrast with the water. It's been a day. Yeah, it's been a day. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> this is uh, not necessarily the, the greatest fish to end on, but I think it's, we're, we're gonna pull the pin. Yeah, yeah. All right, for everybody there at home watching, this bite right now on the Wisconsin River and rivers all over the Midwest, they're really just starting to kick off and they will only get better. Uh, here we're out of Nakusa today. Uh, water temperatures are 37 degrees. You get a few uh, days in the 50s and this bite's just gonna get better and better and better. So if you're one of the lucky ones uh, that has access to the boat uh, or you never put it away in storage, uh, it's time to get out here on the rivers. Uh, the walleye bite is gonna be phenomenal. Uh, it's a great way to shake off the rust from a long winter. So uh, from PJ, Vic and I, we hope to see you out here on the water soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.